Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us discuss the next concepts of this module that is concept of radio wave propagation. In this radio wave propagation, there are three different waves we are going to discuss in this video. First, what is communication channel? Communication channel will also be called as a medium through which the signal transmission occurs. So here there are two types. One is guided media, another one is unguided media. What do you mean by guided media? Here we are going to use this media as a twisted pair of cable or a coaxial cable or optical fiber as a communication medium where point to point communication will be established. What is unguided media? Here generally we are going to use a free space as a communication medium like air. So there are different types here also line communication, optical communication and space communication. Let us see what do you mean by radio waves and how the communication will be happen in a space. This is radio wave propagation. In radio wave propagation, we are going to use radio waves. Those radio waves will be exhibiting the property of a light. So these waves are called as electromagnetic waves. This will be consisting of electric field as well as a magnetic field. You can see here in this diagram, the signal is traveling in this direction. So these radio waves will travel from one end to other end with a far distance. For communicating to a longer distance, we are going to use these radio waves. And the properties which the light exhibits, again the same properties the radio waves also exhibit. Like reflection, refraction, diffraction, absorption and polarization, scattering. All these are going to happen for the radio wave also as light wave. So there are different waves here. One is the ground wave or we call it as a surface wave. Here the signal will move along the curved surface of the earth from the transmitter to the receiver. Here you can see this is a transmitting antenna, this is a receiving antenna and we are using this surface wave or a ground wave, it is traveling as the earth surface having a curvature to reach the receiving antenna. So here we are going to use a low frequency signals, the high frequency signals will be absorbed by the ground. So low frequency in the sense it is around 30 kilohertz to 3 megahertz we are going to use, those signals will fall under the surface waves. And we can achieve the transmission distance from 100 to some 1000 or 1500 kilometers. And generally in AM radio broadcasting, uh, these kind of waves are going to be used. The next one is space or tropospheric wave. Troposphere is the region, we going to call it as a troposphere, above the earth's surface from 0 to 12 kilometer. Up to 12 kilometer, we call it as a troposphere. And here the transmission of signals we call it as a space wave. From the transmitting antenna to your receiving antenna you can see here in this diagram it may take two paths. One will be a direct wave if the transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna are communicating through a straight line we call it as a direct wave. And if, if the signal is hitting on earth and it is taking a deviation and reaching to the receiver antenna we call it as indirect wave. So these two kind of transmission can occur in a tropospheric wave or we call it as a space wave. And next one is sky wave. Sky wave in the sense it is a high frequency signal or high frequency uh, transmission we can say. And here the frequency from megahertz, few megahertz to 40 megahertz. And signal flow will be here from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna through reflection from the ionosphere. There is an ionosphere here above the mesosphere, you can see here troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, above that around from 80 km from the earth surface will be having ionosphere. In this ionosphere, we will be having an electron and ions in this space. Because of that, there will be a signal loss kind of thing also happens, there will be noise can also be included and there will be a ref reflection takes place in this space that signal will be received by the receiver finally. So this kind of wave transmission will be called as sky wave transmission. And what are all the advantages of this? Since having a high frequency signals, uh, we can transmit to the longer distance. So long distance communication, it's possible in sky wave propagation. And frequency is very high, the range of frequencies is considerably high. And attenuation is less due to the atmospheric conditions we can say. The limitation is that Long distance propagation requires obviously large sized antennas and the height of the antenna also. 
and due to the presence of ionosphere near and far during the night and day during the night ionosphere is near to the earth we can say and in the daytime it is far actively so signal condition or the variation in the transmission occurs if the day transmission and the night transmission is good to consider in the next video let us see the digital modulation schemes of digital communication thank you